Payment Collection In this video, we will look at how you can set up payment collections for your tournament with just a few clicks. As a prerequisite, you should have set up the sports and divisions for your tournaments. To start setting up payments, navigate to the Payments tab under the Settings and enable the switch to set up payment collection. You will be shown the option to customize the payment collection for your tournament. Decide if you wish to collect payments online or offline. In offline payments, the applicants will be shown an invoice and can proceed by submitting his or her application when they apply to your tournament. Later, the applicant can pay the organizer directly. Playing or supports online payment collection through Stripe and we support payment collection only through credit cards. Click on connect with Stripe button and you will be navigated to the Stripe authentication page. Authenticate your Stripe account by providing your Stripe ID and password. This enables Stripe to collect payments from Playinga and transfer the collected money to your account. You can also categorize options for your charges from applicants. You can decide if you wish to track taxes separately and show it in the invoice. If you wish to do so, you can enter the tax code and the tax rate. The tax rate and code will be applied to the tournament entry fee and the event fee collected. If you want to collect a fee for your tournament as a whole, irrespective of the divisions or events from the applicants while they are applying to your tournament, enable the tournament entry fee switch. Enter the entry fee for your tournament excluding the tax if set. You can also enable the system to automatically apply an early bird discount. This is a discount based on the date applied or the first set of applications received. In this tournament, we will set up the discount based on the first few applications received. Here we will apply the discount to the first 10 participants applying to your tournament. You can provide the amount to be discounted from the entry fee. In this case, the first 10 applicants for this tournament will have to pay only $2 plus taxes. Similarly, you can set up fee for participating in every division of your tournament. You can also set up an early bird discount and in this case, we will set up a discount of $12 for any applicant applying before the 19th of June in the men's under 19 tennis division. There are a couple of other categories that you can include to charge your applicants such as donations. Donations lets applicants decide the amount they would like to contribute while they are applying to your tournament. You can choose to enforce a minimum amount if you wish to do so. Add-ons are other auxiliary charges that you would like to collect from applicants. This could be optional t-shirts or jerseys. The difference between a donation and an add-on is that in donations, the amount is determined by the applicants. However, on the other hand, in add-ons, the applicant can enter the quantity and cannot determine the amount. You can set up the tax that you would be added to along with the price. Once you have set up the payments, you can check the prices displayed in the tournament's fees page and if you are happy with the setup, you can proceed to publishing your tournament. In the next video, we will look at how you can market your tournament on social media platforms and share it with your friends.